front. Yeah, we're going we're going north. Yeah. And good evening to folks watching on KTLA.com and Facebook Lives. Tim Lan aboard Sky 5 with Colton Von Pertz. We're in a pursuit of a reckless driver here north on the 405 freeway approaching Sherman Way. This guy has already uh, uh, caused several collisions on the uh, 405 freeway. We just watched him almost rear into car uh, and then got up next to it and ran into, this, uh, into it from the side just to cut it off and just purposely ran into it. Now we're continuing north here. We're at 90 miles an hour. We're coming up on stop traffic. Uh, we'll see what he does when he gets here. But he's wanted for speed only right now, but uh, also felony evading because he really uh, flying the mail here north on the 405 freeway uh, coming up to Devonshire. And uh, he's whipping through from that number one to number uh, to the HOV lane, trying to keep the speed up. But I'm telling you, traffic is really slow as we approach the uh, 118 freeway. Here he comes up in behind these cars on the brakes hard. Uh, he's looking for any opening he can get. And the thing is, is I don't see any ground units behind him. There is an LA, LAPD unit overhead with a flat with the uh, night sun on, and the uh, uh, CHP is still trying to get in position to take over this pursuit on the ground. But now we're coming into some heavy traffic here approaching Devonshire. Holding a HOV lane, still kind of pushing through. Hopefully he slows down, realizing nobody's behind him as far as law enforcement, and he uh, takes it easy getting through these cars because these folks are just driving north on the 405, trying to get home. And you can see here moving all the way over to the number two lane, uh, and cutting that car off just for no reason at all, just uh, swerved over to the left, uh, nearly clipping the front of that car. Now sliming, going back into number one, weaving back to number two, coming up to the 118 freeway here. And uh, kind of went after that car, sliding over to the 118, spreading the needle between those two cars there on the right. Uh, as we approach the 118 freeway, he's over to the gore point, continuing north on the uh, 405 into the uh, shoulder, that just kicking up dust. Back over into the travel lanes here, back onto the number four lane, northbound 405 freeway. Here's the uh, 118 freeway as we're approaching. And it looks like we're committed to this northbound uh, 405 uh, crossing the uh, 118. Now he's over to the right shoulder again. And he has really been uh, driving recklessly here and did purposely swerving at cars uh, next to him as we went under the uh, 118 freeway right there. Still northbound coming up to the uh, uh, further up here. We'll hit the uh, 5. Oh man, just really. Uh, Got his way around the uh, cars there, back into a little more clear area here. But it's going to come to a stop again or slow down as we make the uh, uh, area here as we come up to the 5405 interchange. Oh, man, just weaves at that guy. Oh, weaves at that car, almost hits him. No reason at all that he's barely missing these cars in the number one lane, uh, whipping around them. So I don't know what this guy is doing, whether he's trying to cause an accident to tie up the freeway so the units can't come up behind him. On the brakes really hard there, weaving around, going around traffic. The problem with that is this old truck, uh, you get on those brakes too hard, they're going to run out. Swah, just pushes that car out of the way and continuing on. Back into the HOV lane as we approach the uh, 5 freeway. And now if you see brake lights, these are the cars just trying to make the transition up here. And he's purposely going after uh, other cars. Uh, Doug rammed that guy and almost knocked himself out of control. Now he's wanted for assault with a deadly weapon multiple uh, occasions here. And so just really, really bad driving as this guy comes along. Five's going to pop up to about 2,300, give you some room there, uh, Petey. As we continue on here, just kind of sideswiping another car. And he's going to be going into a tunnel here in a second. We'll see where he comes out. But, man, just flying the mail here. And that oh, already went through the tunnel now, northbound on the 5 freeway. I didn't see him go. I was watching uh, the guys in front of me. Okay. And uh, now continuing northbound on the uh 
five freeway here away from the 405. Oh, just swerved at that car right there. Continuing up here, passing Roxford. And once again, uh, he's wanted for assault with a deadly weapon now because of all those different uh, purposeful turns towards the other vehicles, uh, ramming them knocking them uh, as he goes by, and that's uh, that vehicle is a deadly weapon. Now he's whipping the cross here, just going for the off-ramp. Looks like we're picking up the uh, eastbound 210 freeway, eastbound 210 freeway, as he goes around the sweeper. That right sweeper going to go on around, come up, and pick up this eastbound 210 from the 5 freeway up here in Silmar. Continuing east on the uh, 210 freeway here. Pars passing Yarnell. Still continuing to high rate of speed. The pie's going to slide over to the south side here, pick up behind uh, 7. As we uh, continue on now here on the 210 freeway uh, eastbound. Oh, that's going to be 9 on the uh, south side here. Yeah. All right, five's right behind you. As we uh, go on here, going through uh, Roxford again here on the 210 freeway eastbound. Uh, this guy's really just just buying, just going through these cars and weaving at people and just causing all kinds of problems. Here he comes up on this car. No reason at all to do that. He's got free run. He has nobody behind him, just a police helicopter overhead. And uh, he is keeping his speed now or about 92 miles per hour as we work our way here east on the uh, 210 freeway. Now we're continuing now here, uh, coming back towards the uh, Silmar area again, coming into Pacoima. We're just past Polk Street. And we're still waiting to see uh, CHP ground units come involved here. That's nine. I can't. I can't get any further ahead of him because he passing under Polk. Coming up on the clay. Kind of. You see him just passing these cars uh, very quickly. I get out from behind him. What? Oh, okay. He's got his hands hanging out the windows going by that FedEx truck. Uh, continuing on here north on the, or correction, east on the 210 freeway coming up to the 118.
Did you have the brown up? Yes. Continuing now, north or eastbound on the 210 freeway, just past the 118. And we are, oh, it just scrapes that truck right there as he goes by. All right, he almost hit that car there as he could, it continues on. Oh, yeah, he is definitely going after these cars on the freeway. This guy here in the white car trying to stay away from him. And yeah, just now he's blacked out coming up the uh, 210 freeway here eastbound. And this heads up into uh, Lakeview Terrace. It'll go up through uh, La Cunata, Flint Ridge area. And it's a pretty dark area here as so we're going to climb the hill up the 210. It'll take us through Latuna. As we continue on now, Siege. And CHP helicopter now is taking over, and they have CHP ground units. As this guy weaves, oh, man, right there, hits into the center divider, crashed out of the car, bouncing around. You see the smoke, the sparks, knocked a wheel off, and now he's dragging a wheel as he uh, goes on the freeway here. Yeah, he's got the whole left side there uh, on the ground as it uh, just grinds to a halt. This car behind him, uh, he hit, and then uh, coming to a stop here, the other car stopping, having no idea what is going on here. So hopefully we don't have a situation here with this uh, driver and the uh, passion people there. He, uh, he got the idea, saw the police light, and he's pulling away. This guy's getting out of the car. Now you got to worry about you got to worry about carjacking now as he runs back. Going to start grabbing cars. That's hopefully these cars just keep on going. Keep uh, away from this guy because he could very easily carjack a car. Just keep on going, people. Just keep going. Keep your doors locked. And hopefully this guy is uh, not going to grab a car here. Uh, hopefully everybody just keeps going. But he's uh, there. You see the male, no shirt, short pants. This guy's backing away from him. And he's running after him. And he's backing up as fast as he can. Uh, I just put it in drive. It. Hey, there's a CHP unit, thank goodness. All right, CHP is going to come up here and grab this guy. All right, that boys. And uh, in the middle of the freeway here, uh, they're going to get out and uh, probably use less than lethal to be able to uh, take this guy down. He's acting very erratic, but he's got his hands behind his back. Very dangerous move by this guy. We're going to stay kind of wide. Oh, that was a taser. That was a taser. Uh, took him down. You see him just kind of lock up. CHP officers are wasting no time to take this guy into custody. Holding him down as they handcuff him. And those people, now you have to remember this when you're on the freeway or you're driving anywhere and you have a situation like that. Keep your windows up, your doors locked, and just try to get by the person. And if they start grabbing on your car, just drive away. And luckily, uh, suspect is now in custody by CHP. You see him right there. And uh, they're waiting for additional units to come up and help uh, to get this guy into custody. It looks like the other officer may have went up to secure the car. But uh, he walked up the freeway here. There's another unit here out in the middle of the, uh, the street. Oh, same unit? Okay. All right. It got... And uh, I'm sure these other cars are just stopping because they were involved in the crash as well. That, that utility uh, vehicle, uh, utility vehicle uh, really took the brunt of it. And now we got uh, CHP motor unit here. Uh, they're coming in to help out. And uh, this one officer here is still uh, just hanging on to him. Yeah, okay, he's got him cuffed, going to stand him up, get him into the car. And the other units are going up to check on anybody for injuries, make sure everybody is okay. But he hit that utility truck really hard, which threw him into the center divider, knocking off that left rear wheel and luckily coming to an end here. So uh, it could have ended so much worse. But uh, fortunately, uh, 
his poor driving and the way he was going after people caused him to uh, have a problem with his car, knock the wheel off, and now uh, taken into custody. It's the young man here in his car, uh, kind of stuck on a center l uh, lane, and the uh, CHP uh, doing a traffic break here to try to get him off to the center divider. Then there's, there's the suspect again. You see this older uh, Silverado here with a camper shell. A lot of stuff in the back of it. And now uh, minus the left rear wheel, which brought this pursuit to an end.
And for the folks at home, I uh, just maybe have tuned in. There was a CHP pursuit uh, that was lost northbound uh, 405 as it crossed over Imperial, uh, worked its way north on the 405 freeway uh, through West L.A., over the hill into Van Nuys. Uh, we continued north 405 until it merged with a 5 freeway. Uh, 